I'm Oliver Norris, and today I'll be walking you through death by natural causes. When you think probably a death by a natural cause, you probably think, let's say, a rabid bear attack. Well, that's not really natural. That's probably an accident that happened, and you probably could do nothing about that. But when it means natural, it means something like a disease that could kill you. Let's say rabies. But there's also other things that could kill you in this exhibit too. So, this is the first part I'm going to show you in this exhibit. How the doses actually is the part that kills you. Let's say if we take a cyanide basic sexicide, which we just happen to have one right here. If you, had, if you just had a tiny bit of it, you'd die very, very fast. So, in 1902, Dr. Wiley assembled a squad of people known as, well, the Poison Squad. The most famous chemical they tested was Borax. They used it on each other, they used it on the squad, and find out if it was really meant for your body, and in this case, it was not. And this is how the thing we know today as the FDA was made. I'm back to slight bit, we're going to see this table, give some facts about some foods that a lot of people eat today. How about would you get ketchup? You probably, you probably have that a lot. And did you know over half of the samples tested actually contained mold, but not enough to kill you. You've probably seen the periodic table of elements before, but this one's just a tad bit special because it shows all sorts of things that your body, body regulates and needs. This first one shows chemicals that make up 99% of your body, such as hydrogen and calcium. Move on just a slight bit down. Right here, things that, things that you need to survive for more than a single second, such as, well, sodium, magnesium, and iron. You probably all know where, you, all know where those are, but, some, but not some of the other ones. Move back here, is that, move back here. These ones show ones that if you have too much or too little, can hurt your body a lot. One that you could probably have too much of is lead, which can cause some serious damage to all organs in your body. This is the conservatory, which shows all sorts of plants and foods that can be extremely deadly to your body. Some of them you probably know are deadly, but some of them you probably don't know. One of those you probably don't know are deadly are, well, potatoes, which you probably eat a lot of. In this enclosure here, you see all sorts of mushrooms that you can find in the wild. With these levers, you can find out if, in, if a certain mushroom is safe to eat. So I'm going to choose one of these two and see which one's safe to eat. I think this brown looks safer. It looks safe. This one looks a little more extravagant. Yikes! <laughs> if I found that in the wild, I probably wouldn't survive too much longer because I probably would have ingested it by now. It looks like the other one was safe, even though, I, even though it looked very brightly colored. So in this case over here, you see some viruses that can easily kill you. The one in the very middle is Ebola, which you probably knew because of its very, very large outbreak in 2014 through 16. To the right of it, you see the Zika virus, which is known mostly for its extreme effects on fertile women. As you see, I'm in a pretty sticky situation right now, but this exhibit was very, very interesting. I recommend this to adventurous children and adults alike. If you want to come see this exhibit, head to the Houston Museum of Natural Science to see death by natural causes.